we all know eating raw eggs can be risky. Raw cookie dough, tiramisu, hollandaise sauce, Caesar chef salad, even sunny side up eggs uh, are favorite foods, but they can be fatal. And we have a technology that's gonna change all that. Uh, a congressional hearing cited the Centers for Disease Control where 100 deaths and over 300,000 illnesses resulted from salmonella and enteritidis infected eggs. And a World Health Organization reports today that 420,000 people worldwide are killed every year uh, of which 64,000, over 64,000 are from uh, the number one bacterial killer, salmonella. 600 million people are made sick from infected foods. So for doctors of food science like me, the grand food challenge is how do we make fresh foods safe? Now the Food Innovation Center that I direct has a slogan, food for billions, and everyone assumes it's about producing enough food for an ever-growing population. We can produce food for everyone, but what we fail to do is produce foods that's safe for everyone. So I have a team assembled that we're gonna flip the switch from food illness to food wellness. And I'm gonna tell you about that today. Um, but first I wanna answer the question that's on everybody's mind today, and that is, which came first? <laughs> so was it the illness or the egg? About one in 10,000 eggs are infected with salmonella, and this is not just surface contamination that's easily washed off. Every, the chicken only has one exit, so every egg that's ever been made has had bacterial contact. Uh, every once in a while, the hen makes a mistake. She'll put salmonella on the inside of the egg where you can't see it, very hard to eradicate, um, but we want to kill it before it kills you. Um, so if you're in the geometric center of that egg, very hard to reach with traditional pasteurization technologies like heat, because what are you going to do? You end up hard boiling the egg. Um, you consume about 267 eggs a year, if you're average. So if you just do the math, by the time you're 75 years old, you'll have consumed two naturally contaminated, contaminated eggs with salmonella. I eat two eggs a day, so I'm overdue for my four uh, contaminated eggs. And by the time I retire, I want all my eggs to have been safe. So happy 75th birthday if anyone has it. I want to move to a more happy subject, and that, of course, is of birthdays. Does anyone have a birthday on Halloween or know anyone? Close? <laughs> because if you do have a Halloween birthday in your family or amongst your friends, you share that birthday with Denisha Mae Camacho, who was born um, in Manila in the Philippines just seven or six years ago now. And she was picked by the United Nations for a very special purpose. She got a big cake, a chocolate cake with the inscription 7B Philippines on it. And the 7B stood for the 7 billionth baby. She was the poster child for population growth. Now, fortunately, that cake that she could not yet eat um, had cooked eggs in it because no hospital anywhere will serve farm fresh eggs because of its huge food safety risk. So I'm gonna use the billion baby mileposts as kind of a time marker to show you how technology growth and population growth truly go hand in hand. So, no shame, was anyone here born in 1959? <laughs> okay, because if you were born in 59, you could have been the three billionth baby poster child. And in 59, we had uh, finally broken the a fresh food heat barrier because the United States military figured out that they could make fresh food safe with irradiation, gamma rays, x-rays, uh, and it's literally called cold sterilization because you don't have to heat the food. You just use uh, the irradiation to knock out the bacteria, the food remains fresh, and in fact, no cosmonaut, no astronaut has ever had foodborne illness while on a mission because every food that's ever flown has, every fresh food that's ever flown has had uh, irradiation for safety. Now, you can irradiate eggs. Food and Drug Administration allows that. Um, but it has the opposite effect of heat. Uh, the egg white becomes a little more fluid. The eggs get watery. But the bigger problem with irradiation is the consumer acceptance. Um, people don't trust irradiation for various reasons I'm not going to get into. But we need uh, a friendlier technology. So maybe you were born in 1977, because you could have seen Sylvester Stallone in the Academy Award winning Rocky movie when he got up at 4 AM every morning <laughs> and cracked five fresh eggs into a tall glass and guzzled it down in his ritual to compete for the uh, uh, prize fight title. And this inspired bodybuilders worldwide to do the same thing. 
and uh, they did so with great personal risk. Now, you might be surprised to learn that I gave up bodybuilding some time ago, <laughs> but I, I built my expertise in food poisoning. And uh, at first, you think you have the flu, uh, then you have debilitating cramps, you have diarrhea, you have headache, you have uh, fever, uh, where about the fourth day, you're wondering, am I going to die? Um, but wait, there's more. About the end of the week, you're wishing you were dead because you want to just stop the misery. And it's this very debilitating salmonella infection that has led uh, the Food and Drug Administration to establish a food code which prohibits um, the use of raw eggs in hospitals, nursing homes, and in K-12 uh, food service operations because uh, for these people, this particular disease can be quite deadly. Um, so in these operations, they use pasteurized powdered eggs or pasteurized liquid eggs, which come with a taste penalty. And that's one of the mantras of food scientists like me. You implement a technology or have some kind of uh, uh, solution, if you have a taste penalty, people won't go there. And it's such is the case, case with eggs. Now, perhaps you were uh, born around 19, uh, um, well, actually, this, this was the Dateline NBC program, um, which aired um, around 1998. And this is, um, you are in time to see the expose where they discovered that eggs that were close to their pull-by date, so on every carton of eggs, you have a best of use by date. This is about um, 30 days since the egg was hatched. And what Dateline discovered was some of these eggs that were being sent by the grocery back to the processor were being washed and put back in cartons and sent back to the grocery with a fresh 30-day expiration date on it. And this legal loophole um, doesn't exist anymore. But you can just imagine some poor egg cycling endlessly between the grocery and the, and the processor. And this got, this was enough to get people, consumers, really mad. And it got the president of the United States to act. So President Bill Clinton, in 1998, signed into law the U.S. Egg Safety Action Plan. And in this egg safety action plan, he required that all foods, uh, all salmonella be eradicated from fresh shell, shell eggs. So it said by the year 2010, eggs will be free of salmonella. Anyone remember what happened in 2010? What do you guess? Any recall here? Hint? Yes? If you recall a recall, you're absolutely, your recall is good. <laughs> there was a record recall of a half a billion eggs uh, in, uh, in 2010 for, you guessed it, a salmonella contamination. Uh, this is the largest recall in history. This is not exactly what the president had in mind. Um, so we had uh, some room to achieve. And actually, a very brilliant scientist in the office next door to me, uh, Professor Ahmed Yosef, had a much better idea in mind. What Dr. Yosef discovered, and his postdoc, Luis Rodriguez, discovered, was that using ozone, uh, we could pasteurize the eggs and not cook them. They stayed fresh. Now, ozone is three molecules of oxygen joined together. It's the same material that's protecting us from ultraviolet radiation from the sun. It's the smell you smell after a lightning strike. And it's also sometimes used by people in hot tubs to, as a substitute for chlorine. Um, if the salmonella is in the center of the egg, which is the worst case scenario, thermal processes aren't going to get to it because the heat has to migrate to it. And the egg will, as you know, when you heat an egg, it solidifies. You don't want a soft boiled egg when you're trying to buy fresh eggs. By forcing gaseous ozone into that egg, we're getting to the salmonella, we're killing it, and we're not cooking the egg, so it remains fresh. Dr. Yosef and I uh, did several uh, USDA and FSIS uh, research studies that proved these eggs were functional, they stayed fresh, they had no taste penalty, and they indeed were pasteurized well beyond the five log reduction that's required for pasteurization. We got 90% greater efficiency in pasteurization using the gaseous ozone technology. Now, for this reason, um, the private sector aid companies in Ohio got really interested. And a smiling man in the middle is Professor Yosef, and he's surrounded by egg farmers. These are uh, people that produce eggs in the state of Ohio, which Ohio leads or is second in the nation for whole shell egg production. So what we do here is really going to impact the nation and perhaps the world. And this was uh, actually the first of three lab scale ozone machines that we built. That one, you could see there's uh, two dozen eggs that either are going in or came out of the machine. 
And these came out fresh, safe, and, and uh, behave as they should. Um, these egg farmers have an exclusive license to the technology, which is patented. Um, so we're very, very pleased to say that uh, the Ohio Third Frontier, which is Governor Kasich's commercialization team, um, visited us. And I told them that, look, someday we're going to look back at how we tolerated raw eggs fresh from the farm, just like today we look back and wonder how people at one time tolerated raw milk fresh from the farm because the actual annual body count from unpasteurized milk is on the rise, but the body count from pasteurized milk is zero, okay? So should it be for eggs. We shouldn't have any fatality from egg. And the uh, three family farms that are supporting the technology uh, created the truly pure pasteurized egg uh, marketing uh, logo, and that's what we're going to see soon, hopefully, um, because the Third Frontier gave us a $3 million grant uh, to commercialize the technology. And so I'm pleased to say we actually built a commercial egg uh, processing facility just 20 miles from here. And um, this is uh, what we built, this 6,300 eggs coming out of an ozone chamber, which is inside that white room. And these white cartons are the cases that we're going to be shipping uh, with the truly pure eggs, mostly to food service, to restaurants, um, and K-12 if, if they'll have it. Um, these eggs are, are, are again, uh, fresh-like. And the advantage here is that uh, these may be coming to a, a restaurant, uh, may be coming soon to a restaurant near you um, because people can then pick pasteurize if they, uh, for personal safety. So this is great news. Um, what we have, um, we hired a executive chef panel uh, they came in and ch checked out our eggs using their favorite egg recipes. Um, those chefs are from the Schoenbaum Family Center, um, from the Cameron Mitchell restaurants. Um, the guy with the Buckeye hat, of course, is from the Ohio State University hospitals and uh, the Bob Evans farms. And they verified that these eggs um, worked well in whatever recipes they tried. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing pasteurized eggs um, available to those people who want them the most. Now, Somebody in your family might have a baby in the year 2046, because if you do, uh, the 2046 9 billion baby poster child auditions are now open. <laughs> so uh, if you have a child in 2046, uh, Bill Clinton's egg safety action plan will have been solved with ozone technology. Um, Denisha May Camacho, who is the Philippine baby you just met at the beginning, she'll be 35 years old. And she's going to be feeding her children raw cookie dough, fresh eggs, with zero risk. The food for billions will truly be uh, safe for billions. And um, one thing I would encourage you all to do is always pick pasteurized because um, we want to drive that annual body count uh, from pasteurized eggs and all fresh foods down to zero. Now, these, these eggs actually came from our commercial farm um, and our commercial process. They've been ozonated for safety. And so for doctors of food science like me, who always pick pasteurized, 